this garment factory in the city of Da Nang in some ways illustrates where Vietnam is and the direction it wants to head in. Hundreds of workers are busy cutting material, sewing, ironing and packing suits designed for export. But in another part of the factory, thousands of machines manufacture cotton yarn with almost no human intervention. Vietnam has maintained a GDP growth rate of 6% to 7% in recent years. This rate may be high compared with other economies, but is still lower than the real potential and expectation. That's why we need to have better policies. In fact, the Vietnamese government wants to focus on improving the quality of growth. Vietnam wants to reduce its reliance on labor-intensive industry and to increase automation and use of ICT, as well as boosting sectors like tourism and adding more value to its agriculture. The city of Da Nang is no exception. Its biggest money earners are tourism, textiles and seafood products. But it recently opened the country's third high-tech park. Da Nang has an international airport, seaport, excellent road infrastructure, high quality of life and other attributes. We have about 25 universities and colleges and uh, about 60 vocational training schools. So we can supply a good labor source for the company here. And uh, most of them are well trained and have a high skill, especially in ICT sector. Da Nang is also offering foreign investors, like this Japanese cast iron maker, attractive incentives like lengthy tax holidays. That's helped start drawing more investment to Vietnam's third city. As for Vietnam as a whole, the country pulled in an impressive $25 billion of foreign direct investment in the first nine months of the year, up by more than a third over the same period last year. Brian Meltzer, CGTN, Da Nang, Vietnam.